A simple NVIDIA driver change can completely transform your Fortnite performance. More FPS, smoother gameplay, or in some cases, worse stuttering. And most players never even realize it. In my previous video, I tested NVIDIA drivers in Fortnite using DX12, and the response was huge. But one comment kept showing up again and again. Can you test Fortnite Legacy Performance Mode? So in this video, that's exactly what we're doing. Fortnite Performance Mode is still the top choice for competitive players who want maximum FPS, the lowest input delay, and the most consistent gameplay possible. But just like DX12, the NVIDIA driver you're using can make a massive difference here. Today, I'm comparing four different NVIDIA drivers using real CapFrameX benchmark data to find out which one actually delivers the best performance in Fortnite Performance Mode. <clears throat> Before looking at the results, let me quickly explain the testing setup so everything is clear. Every benchmark was done on the same system with the same CPU, GPU, RAM, and storage, and the same Fortnite build. Graphic settings were kept identical across all tests, using Fortnite Legacy Performance Mode, and the same replay path and recording duration were used each time. To ensure the most accurate results possible, I performed a clean installation of every driver using Display Driver Uninstaller, or DDU. This removes all old driver files and cached data, so the performance you're seeing comes purely from the driver itself. Starting with NVIDIA Driver 591.59, the newest driver in this comparison. Looking at the CapFrameX data, this driver delivers decent performance on paper, but it's not the strongest option here. Average FPS is respectable, but when you look deeper into the frame time graph, you can see noticeable spikes throughout the run. These spikes indicate moments where frame delivery isn't perfectly consistent. The 1% low and 0.1% low values are also weaker compared to some of the other drivers, which means more micro stutter during fast movement and intense fights. While the overall smoothness percentage looks high, Fortnite performance mode is extremely sensitive to frame time fluctuations, and in real gameplay, this driver feels less stable than expected for a latest release. Next is NVIDIA driver 591.44, which shows a small improvement over 591.59. Average FPS is similar, but frame time consistency is slightly better. The CapFrameX graph shows fewer extreme spikes, and the 1% low FPS values are more stable. Stuttering time is reduced compared to the latest driver, which helps make gameplay feel smoother overall. That said, while 591.44 improves stability, it still doesn't fully match the best performing drivers in this test, especially when it comes to low FPS consistency, which matters a lot for competitive play. Now let's talk about NVIDIA driver 566.36, and this is where Fortnite performance mode really starts to shine. According to the CapFrameX screenshots, this driver delivers significantly higher average FPS compared to both 591 drivers. More importantly, the 1% low and 0.1% low FPS values are much stronger, which means far fewer sudden drops during gameplay. The frame time graph is extremely tight, with very small fluctuations and almost no visible spikes. Stuttering is practically non-existent, and the smoothness percentage is near perfect. In actual gameplay, this translates to better input response, smoother camera movement, and more consistent aiming. For Fortnite performance mode, this driver clearly delivers one of the best experiences in this comparison. Finally, we have NVIDIA driver 531.79, an older driver that continues to surprise. Based on the benchmark data, 531.79 delivers very high average FPS, sometimes even rivaling or exceeding newer drivers. The frame time graph is very clean, and both 1% low and 0.1% low FPS values are strong. There's virtually no stuttering recorded, which makes gameplay feel extremely smooth and predictable. For Fortnite performance mode specifically, this driver still performs exceptionally well. The only downside is that being an older driver, it may lack optimizations for newer games or features, but purely for Fortnite competitive play, it remains a solid option. When we compare all four drivers side by side, the difference becomes very clear. 591.59, despite being the newest, offers the weakest frame time consistency and lower low FPS stability. 591.44 improves slightly, but still falls behind. 566.36 stands out as the best overall driver, delivering the highest average FPS combined with excellent 1% lows and almost perfect frame time stability. 531.79 is also extremely smooth and consistent, making it a great alternative for players who prioritize stability over newer driver features. So, which NVIDIA driver should you actually use for Fortnite Legacy Performance Mode? Based on real CapFrameX data and actual gameplay smoothness, NVIDIA driver 566.36 is the clear winner. It offers the best balance of raw FPS, low FPS stability, and frame time consistency, making it ideal for competitive players. If you prefer an older, proven driver and don't need the latest updates, 531.79 is still a very strong choice. 
On the other hand, if you're using 591.59 or 591.44, you may actually be sacrificing smoothness and consistency, even if average FPS looks fine. This again proves that newer drivers aren't always better, and choosing the right NVIDIA driver can have a huge impact on your Fortnite performance. If this video helped you, drop a like, subscribe for more driver testing, and let me know in the comments which driver you're currently using and how it performs on your system.